Hey y'all, this video is going to feature one of my clients, Matt, who's an advanced lifter. Today, we're going to take a look at Matt's bench press technique, and I'll provide some tips to help increase his one rep max. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button for videos on strength training, maximizing muscle mass, different types of supplements, and other fitness related content. Let's take a look at Matt's stats. He's 41 years old, weighs 180 pounds, height is 5 foot 8, he's an advanced trainer. His current one rep max before starting the six week peaking program is 335. His goal is to press 405. The first video we're going to take a look at is from week one, so he's going to press 250 for a set of six. Next video will be from week three, 275 for a set of six. Before we look at the video, let's start off with some strengths. So he has the barbell rolled all the way forward in the J-hooks. Starting with the bar at the front of the J-hooks can reduce the distance needed to get the bar in a position for pressing. That small adjustment helps conserve energy. His upper traps and scapula are going to be pressed tight into the bench from the very start. That's going to create a strong base to press from and it's going to help maintain shoulder health. The position of his legs and his feet look good. His femurs are angled down and his heels are placed firmly on the floor. His unrack also looks great. Matt starts right away using leg drive when unracking and even before pressing the barbell. His elbows remain at a 45 degree angle throughout the lift, also important to maintaining his shoulder health. And also take note of Matt's bar path. So it's going to touch low in his chest just below the nipples and he's going to explosives, explosively press up. The bar is going to follow a jape shaped path towards his neck. You do not want to press straight up and down. Some adjustments that we made for Matt's bench. We're gonna raise the rack height so it's optimal, so up one inch. We're gonna work on increasing his arch throughout the set. Help press his heels to his trap so the outer part of his heel is gonna be the main pressure point on the floor. It's gonna drive with both feet down and away. We're gonna to look to gradually increase the force of his leg drive while lowering the bar to his chest. Then when pressing the weight up, drive with his legs explosively until he's just past his sticking point, which is towards the bottom. We're gonna to look to gradually decrease leg drive intensity back to baseline near the lockout. He's gonna squeeze his glutes the entire time to stabilize his lower back. Now something to note, this additional um, leg drive is going to result in being pushed back actually along the bench. Some tips to help stick if that occurs. You can wrap resistance bands on the bench or you can apply chalk to the back of your shirt near your upper traps. So let's take a look at his technique now that some of those adjustments have been made. So one of the first things you'll notice, he now has a greater arch. When he unracked the first time, his arch reduced throughout his set. Now he's maintaining that nice angle in his back throughout the entire set. The additional assistance work we provided through glute bridges helped increase his leg drive. So again, some different improvements to look at between weeks one and weeks three. He's got the optimal rack height now, so reduce energy expenditure. And remember with optimal rack height, all you need to do is extend the arms and press the weight out of the pins while keeping your shoulders firmly on the bench. If the pins are set too high, your shoulders need to come off the bench and you're going to lose stability. That's going to make it hard to keep heavy weights under control. Another thing is the arch increased and it maintained throughout the set. So that provided improved stability on the bench, helps create and maintain more tension. You're gonna get more out of leg drive and it's gonna help keep your chest up. Also, it results in improved shoulder position throughout the entire lift. And one of the best benefits to help increase your one rep max, it reduced the range of motion that you need to press throughout the lift. So some additional notes on that. For improved stability, you're gonna to wanna to have a strong, stable base of support when you're lifting. It's gonna keep your balance and enable you to stabilize the bar better while it's supported with your hands. Arching places more of your upper traps on the bench instead of lying flat with your entire back in contact with the bench. The position's gonna allow you to press the top of your shoulders into the bench harder and create a more stable base of support. 
So to help create and maintain tension when you arch, you're setting up with your shoulders closer to your hips and you're shortening the muscles throughout your back. This shortening creates tension throughout your back before you even begin to lift. Starting the bench press in a tight position will help you stay tight as you move the bar and resist unwanted change in your body during the lift. For leg drive, it's most effective when you set up with an arch and it keeps your entire body tight. During the leg drive, you should drive as though you're trying to slide your body up to the top of the bench, but you shouldn't move. Leg drive is going to help you press your upper traps into the bench harder and reach your chest up higher like we talked about previously. This transfers more force to your upper body and significantly increases your stability on the bench and tension throughout your body during the bench. Also, you'll be able to drive your legs harder if you're driving against the resistance of your upper traps pushing into the bench. Keeping your chest up. So maintaining your position as you bring the bar down to your chest is essential for staying tight throughout the lift. If your chest drops or the bar sinks into your chest, you're losing tension. And the loss of tension and weight transfer can change how things go when it comes to press the bar up. When you sit up with an arch, you're starting with your chest high and you can create more tension in that position, helping you continue reaching your chest up and maintaining the position as you bring the bar down. Talking about shoulder position during the lift. So of course, we want to bench heavier weight, but we also want to move well and stay healthy for a long time. This position of your torso and your use of leg drive is going to influence your shoulder position and mechanics during the lift. Benching with an arch can help you pull your shoulders back and down more into your starting position, keeping your shoulders in that position during the lift. It's going to help keep your shoulders from moving out of position as you bring the bar down, reducing your risk of injury. It's also going to set you up for efficient shoulder motion during the press. And again, reducing the range of motion is going to make it a more efficient lift. So you'll hit a bigger one rep max. All right, guys, if you like the video, like the video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Definitely going to have a lot more awesome lifting content. Still working towards my 500 rep uh, 1RM. Things are going well and uh, should have some updates soon. All right, y'all. Have a great week.